and trick or treating, you always go, as we said before, with your best of friends and two of the, the longtime friends in the league, Sam Weish and Jerry Glanville. Well, if you believe that, we got some land for the Everglades. Here's Sam. Here's Jerry. Yeah, they're real pleased to see each other. And the Red Gun offense. Bobby Abair at the helm. The Falcons have won two in a row. Abair back to camp with the four receivers and then a doink off Drew Hill. Doink off Monty Cotter. Picked off by Hardy Nickerson. Had a big game today for the Yuccaneers. And he's finally down at the 34-yard line, Tom. Yeah, and once a quarterback throws an interception, he just becomes another guy trying to make a tackle. And Ray Seals reminds the quarterback of that. Craig Erickson. Well, Sam Weiss likes his decision-making process. Obviously, he's a youngster, hasn't started many games, and he'll learn. Vince, workman my way back to you, babe. It's a touchdown, and the Yuccaneers actually lead 7 to nothing. Then, no bad news for Tampa Bay. Reggie Cobb who had 75 yards before the first half was done, goes down. He was carted off, but the good news is it was only a sprained ankle, so hopefully he'll be back soon. Obviously, he did not return in this game. But let's get back to Craig Erickson. He had the best day of his career. Goes deep for Horace Copeland. Just burns Scott Case. He's in the end zone for a touchdown. Seen only by Ozzie Smith. The backflip. It's 24-3. Tampa Bay. More Tampa offense. Hey, 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 we're the Buccaneers. Erickson throwing on the move to Copeland again. It's 31 to 3, Tampa Bay. Erickson with four TDs, 318 yards passing, and for the second time, the backflip. His last four catches for Copeland have been for touchdowns. Yes, two touchdowns, you get two flips. Tampa Bay looked like they were running it up, as you kind of expected. But then, Jerry Glanville's Falcons said, you know what? We get a second half to play here. And on the ensuing kickoff after the 31 to 3 lead, Tony Smith tries to get the Falcons moving. He cuts to the left side, gets uh, walled, and cuts inside at Mike at a go. He goes all the way to the 48 yard line. Atlanta finally has some field. Oh, the photos finally developed in the second half. That's where they knew what they were doing. A bear to Andre Bad Moon Rising. Good defense. 53 yard touchdown. The Bucks still up comfortably 31 to 10. The next Falcon drive down to the nine. It's Bear to rise into the corner. Touch! 31-17. Don't tell me, Tampa. Don't tell me. Don't do it. For the buck five. Mike Pritchard! It's a touchdown! And the Falcons have cut it to seven and 31 to 24. The Falcons get one last chance. Two minutes to go. Bear to the end zone. Michael Haynes. Oh, but Martin Matthew sneezes the ball out of Haynes' hands. And then for Ryzen. Just out of his reach and complete on fourth down. You want to drill it, Tom? Just a case of air, a bear trying to be too careful with that pass to Haynes right there. They say that every picture tells a story. This one says the Buccaneers won. By the way, that was Steve DeBerg, the oldest player in the league, I guess finally showing his age. <laughs> as Tampa, Tampa Bay has a better record than the Falcons, folks. Tampa Bay beats Atlanta by the count of 31 to 24. And we told you the big, big day for Craig Erickson. That game turned out to be an exciting <laughs> game, and I, uh, Sam and Jerry put on a little show for us. Yeah, they did. I think the most interesting concept of any game between the Falcons and the Buccaneers are the two coaches and their relationship. Today, Sam Weiss running up the score on Jerry Glanville. It turned out he needed every one of those points, so I think we can look forward to them running up the score in the future. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was uh, it was intriguing, and uh, but Tampa Bay, a road win. Boy, the Buccaneers break them up. Orange and black on Halloween. That's what you needed. As we go inside the numbers, Horace Copeland, we told you that his last four catches in the last two games have been for touchdowns. He's got that backflip down. Early on, he was upside down, but now he is right side up. What a difference the last two games have made. And Tampa Bay flies home. Atlanta. Spending spree landing through.